Recently, Top Gear presenter Freddie Flintoff bravely revealed the injuries he sustained in a high-speed driving stunt. The much-loved former cricketer was traumatically involved in a near-fatal crash while filming for the Beeb's flagship motorist program last year. An independent health and safety review of Top Gear's current practices was conducted over the summer and will report this autumn, and it could spell the end of amateur presenters taking part in the dangerous stunts. One man knows all too well the dangers posed to participants on the show. There he is. Meet the original Stig on Top Gear, who has now been unmasked as Formula One driver, Formula, former, former Formula One driver, Perry McCarthy. And I'm delighted to be joined now by Perry, who starred on Top Gear uh, from 2002. So, Perry, were there safeguards in place then to prevent the serious sort of accidents We've seen specifically uh, Freddie Flintoff, whose life seems to have been changed. Uh, you mean back in 2002, where there were those reports? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> no, no uh, we, we kind of got on with it, and most of it was in the open air field. And obviously, from my background, I like to think I know what I'm doing a little bit. So, uh, so I could take care of myself, but I, I can't, I would imagine. Clearly, of course, because there have been a number of adventures and accidents across the show's history, is that their, that their health and safety procedures have come up, and you would think that there is more support there. Um, but to what level? And clearly, that is the question with poor Freddie's uh, accident and horrible injuries. You are quite critical of the BBC here, though, aren't you? Yeah, I, I kind of find it pretty bizarre, really, that... You know, first off, you know, we all wish Freddie well. And judging by the, the pictures, it, it, you can only imagine he went through an awful lot of pain. So, you know, hats off to Freddie and his enthusiasm and his character. And he, he's one of the people that's really made Top Gear come back to being a great show. But temper, enthusiasm, it's got to be tempered sometimes. And, you know, Freddie's background is as a sportsman, he's highly competitive. But it is not driving. And sometimes I feel that maybe there's a, a bit of a collar that's needed to contain that enthusiasm to protect enthusiastic and talented drivers like Freddie or talented personalities like Freddie from themselves. So but everything's conjecture at the moment, Dan. And that's what I'm critical of is that why don't we know exactly what has happened? You well, know, we know but we know why, Perry, because the BBC, any time they're in trouble, there's a cover up. That's always what happens with the BBC, whether you're talking about the Princess Diana interview or Jimmy Savile, they cover up the truth. And I think it's appalling given that we pay for this programming too. But I guess my fundamental question for you, though, Perry, uh, is if you look beyond the BBC here, what sort of society do we want to live in? Do we want to live in a society where we allow grown adults to take risks within reason? And of course, there have to be proper health and safety procedures in place and stuff like that. Or do we need to say that all of these stunts have to be left to professionals like you, which would mean the show was nowhere near as popular because the reason why people watch the show well, is because of celebrities doing risk. crazy things. It's a, yeah. it's, I'll tell you about risk. It's that you can try and limit it, you can try and govern it, you can try and contain it, yeah, but you'll never eradicate it, full stop. Even if you're doing 60 or 70 miles an hour, you won't eradicate it. So not to lose the thrill of good presenters on there, sure, you can have them go fast, but it's going to need, it would appear to me as if they're going to need better procedures there, maybe from somebody from my background, even working with the presenters to just say, look, guys, this is the wrong time and wrong place to go quickly because... Something's happened in that accident. We've not been told about it, but judging by Freddie's uh, injuries, it appears to me that the car has maybe gone upside down. And then it's a question of what kind of crash helmet it was using. Because I would never advocate going out with a half-face crash helmet. It would always be a full-face crash helmet. And it, for me, and again, it's conjecture, because conjecture like everybody else, because nobody's told us exactly what's happening or why the show might be canceled. That's, that's my criticism at the moment. So everything is conjecture, but I think it was a crash helmet situation with Freddie. Mm. And, he's, and sadly, th that is something that I personally would have spotted from the outside. Yeah, absolutely. And I think where I totally agree with you, Perry, is that we need transparency from the BBC, both for Freddie's sake, but also the public's sake, because, you know, we're paying for this show via our licence fee. But Perry McCarthy... <laughs> 
the original they stick. They did say they were going to let us know later this year. Yeah. I don't know if they've noticed, but it's kind of later this year already. Exactly. Let's see. Well, look, this is what they told us tonight. Uh, a BBC spokesperson said a decision on the timing of future Top Gear shows will be made in conjunction with BBC content in due course. The health and safety review of the show has not yet concluded. Thank you so much to Perry McCarthy, former Formula One driver, the original Stig.